Hey guys, what's going on? So unfortunately, we're starting August with a red day. And while this red day doesn't look that bad, it actually is, where is it? Um, right here. It doesn't look that bad, but I was up around four or $500 uh, on the day and I wasted it. And, all right, sorry, I could have been up four or $500. I, went, I was initially up maybe, I think 150 or 200. And then I over traded that away on a stupid trade. And then from that I revenge traded and I took like 6,000 shares of a uh, 80 cent stock and I lost $150. I mean, I stopped out pretty quickly on this thing, but um, that's it. From there to there, boom, I lost 150 bucks of a revenge trade. And I, I can't do that. I, and then at the end of the day, we all saw NSYS pop up and I was trading it in here. Uh, pretty, I was pretty smart with this trading, and uh, I locked up an extra two hundred dollars. So if I had kept that initial one fifty and added to the profit rather than remove the profit down to a hundred and fifty dollar loss, um, down here on SNES, you can see here I've just briefly. Um, so I I had a good trade in here to start, and then I didn't take my profit, and then I sold it on the way back down, and then I I wiped out the profit by chasing it because I didn't follow my initial target. I was I was buying here at the very bottom as the volume was coming in for the break of the highs of 142. So I can't remember how many shares of this I had, like probably 3,000 or something. We'll go over it in the video just quickly. Um, and that would have been 10 plus cents, maybe 13 cents, 12 cents. So like $330 or something. So. That plus NSYS, I could have been up 500 US or 700, 650 Canadian. So I don't know what it is. I've been in this rut since since this. Like I, I'm not trading smart. I'm like letting my emotions get to me. I, I'm really not in the zone. I'm thinking too much about profits. I'm I'm trying to chase the dragon, if you will, from these days and just like the immense profits that I've I've had before. So I go on these sprees where I make a lot of money. So I'm focusing too much on the money. I'm take I'm maxing out like share sizes at some points on stocks I shouldn't be. I'm 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 letting it slip and that kind of solidified it today when I I lost that that profit that I had. I was so upset and I was like here we go again. This is why I'll never be a a good trader or profitable, but I am profitable, but I mean like it it's still not acceptable. Like it's I'll go, I could go on and on about why it's terrible, but you can't, like, every single trade matters, and you can make one mistake and blow everything up. I mean, there's been days where I've almost done that. Oh, where is I? Is it here? It's probably somewhere in here. There's, like, just random days that, that have wiped out weeks worth of profit for me. So I know that every single trade counts. So I have to pay more attention. So in August, I'm gonna have this this kind of rule set here. Uh, I'm gonna screenshot and annotate all of my charts for the trades, uh, and I'm also gonna put these in the Discord here. I, t I keep saying this every day uh, about my Discord. The description will be in the link below. If you join up, you can see down here on the charts section, we have like annotated charts and people, there's not many right now, but people are adding them and stuff. So we're going to do that, or you can talk about stocks in the, the chat room and stuff. So anyways, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to wait for quality entries on stocks in play uh, because that's what makes your exit and your risk management easy. So when I, for example, had my entries down here on SNES, so I was down here. I saw the volume come in. If we look on the five second chart here. Um, and we go back to the open. If it lets me go back to the open, that would be nice. So I saw the volume coming in right here. I was in on that candle. Um, and as it pushes up, let's go back to the one minute. Um, as it pushes up here, my target was the high of day. So I saw that the 200 moving average was here at 143. And the high of day at the time was also at 142. So I said, okay, that's my target. That is heavy resistance. If we make it up to that, then we probably uh, won't make it through or won't make it much further past. So I got in there at 130. I got shaken out for whatever reason here. And then I started chasing it and chasing it 
and I didn't capture the move that I initially should have been in for. And again, that was due to emotions. That was due to a lot of things going through my head. So I just unfortunately wasn't paying attention and I, I wasn't on top of my game. I haven't been, you know, taking care of myself as, as well outside of trading, whether that's you know, eating properly or going and exercising and doing all that fun stuff, but uh, it all counts. So I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna focus on this and I have a plan for, sorry, I keep getting distracted by myself even. So after that trade on SNES, I took a revenge trade on ADOM. You can see here, uh, you can't see it, but I took six, I think it was 6,100 shares or something at 83 cents. I mean, I was looking for the break of the highs here at 84 cents, but I, that's just a justification in my head. There was no reason I should have been trading this stock. I would never have traded this stock before. We're coming right up here to the 200 moving average and the daily resistance at 84, 85 cents. So this was a terrible spot to buy. The only reason I bought it was because I was emotional. So I sold it down here on the way down at 82 cents. So calculator, um, where is it right here? So I lost two cents on 6,000, 6,100 shares. I lost around, yeah, that's about right, around 120, $130. Plus commissions, I think commissions, what are commissions here? Yeah, like, I'm just, I'm trading like an idiot and I have to figure it out. So today's video isn't gonna be as useful, but it's more, like I said, of a an update and kind of the struggle of what it's like to go through some of these emotions as a day trader. So everyone talks about charts, everyone talks about patterns, everyone shows, well, not everyone shows live trades, but a lot of people show live trades, but it's really, Trading is is 90 95% psychology. So if you don't have a, a master on your emotions and on your um, Like you, you don't have a plan and you're not following it and it's it's like an unemotional thing Then you will make stupid decisions and you'll wonder what you're doing wrong. You'll wonder why you can't win You'll wonder why you're not profitable. So I'm starting to really really slip with that So I came up with all of these rules for August. I'm gonna stop chasing the Massive massive days and just be happy with what the market gives me so back in these days like for example in March I was using 400 500 600 shares and I was still having pretty big days and that's because I was focusing I was taking good setups and I had control over my emotions. I wouldn't get pissed off over a loss. I wouldn't I, I would just I was focused so for this month, I'm gonna take between 500 and 1,000 shares, and the 1,000 shares is on stocks closer to, to $2 and under because they just don't move as much, and I'm willing to take more shares on a smaller or lower price stock. So do not, I repeat, do not overtrade when losing because the red snowballing days are what's holding me back. So that's the 6,000 share revenge trade from today. I have to show it. I have to hold myself accountable. Um, so, you know, that's that. And that's why I was red today. I could have had, I could have started the month off with a, like a $500 winner. And then that would have been amazing. But no, I didn't because I revenge traded. So, you know, that's fine. I'm learning. It's a shitty start to the month, but it's like, whatever. Um, so the point of this is to regain consistency. So the less trades I take is usually the better. Uh, save the intense scalping and the and big size uh, for stocks that aren't crowded and showing weakness and in a stronger market. So we're kind of in a caution, yellow flag kind of market. There are good opportunities, but they're still kind of it's still summer trading. There's lower volume. There's not a lot of follow through. So I'm gonna save the size for when it it, it really picks up again and whether that's the end of the month or whether that's September, whether that's October, I'm gonna wait for it to come to me. So hopefully you guys still got something out of this video. I apologize for it being so late. Like I said, I've, I was busy all day and I've been in this really terrible funk, but I figured I'd, I'd upload something at least so you guys know what it's like to kind of go through these emotions and how much of an effect it really can have on you if you let it. So I'm gonna get better at that. And hopefully tomorrow will go a bit better. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. 
and I'll try and upload a video much earlier tomorrow on my usual time, maybe around noon. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.